Okay, so, um, apologies for that. Basically, uh, I ran out of room on the Dazzle. You really didn't miss much. All I did was walk down this corridor, make a few more inane comments, and we've discovered that, um, apparently the uh, prisoner slept through the racket and is currently covered up by this sheet. Even though Dr. Watson knew he was awake. Hmm, very interesting. I wonder if it could be... <gasps> er, my it's O'Sullivan! It's O'Sullivan! He was with us only a few moments ago. Or else... Or else it wasn't O'Sullivan. Oh, my what a God. shock. He's escaped! The rat killer has escaped! Oh no, the rats of London are doomed! 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 Anyway... Right, well, that's that done, then. So, Sherlock Holmes visits... Is it Westgate Prison? And immediately someone escapes. Oh, good. Ah, Holmes, there you are. Hans has escaped. I fear that this inquiry is a bitter defeat for us. Oh, such a pessimist. Not at all, my dear fellow. Quite the contrary. Follow me. Oh. Where'd, where are you taking me, Holmes? I don't like this. Why the, the devil have you brought me behind the prison? <laughs> oh, we have an appointment, Watson. With destiny. I wonder if it's with that strange man over there. Look who is waiting for us. Shieldman! I'll go back and alert the guards. Calm down. He's harmless. I nerve-pinched but, him. But what is he doing here? Why hasn't he run away? Because I asked him not to. Are you telling me that you helped him to escape? Quite so, as he wouldn't have been able to do so alone. <laughs> oh. But how? And why? He's a dangerous madman. Oh, Holmes, Holmes you've crazy. made me an accomplice in this escape. You owe me some explanation. Oh, I'm angry. And you will have them. But my priority for the moment is to remove our new friend to a safe um, place. I, think, I won't be long, I think but I must go alone. I'll rejoin you later. Just maybe. give me your next destination. Very well. I suppose you know what you're doing. <laughs> Makes one How of could us. you doubt it? Here, take the notes. They will help you when you write up the account of our visit to Westgate. So, where do I find you? Let's go to Kensington, shall we? I thought of going to Kensington to find the bishop's nephew. Very well. Wait for me there. I'm guessing one of the things is, um, it, as I say, I think perhaps the gas has got some kind of power of suggestion to it, maybe. So he's... Either that... I don't know. I'm very confused. Holmes notes regards the way that he helped Hans Schliemann to escape from prison are so extraordinary that I feel it would be better to transcribe word for word the conversation that we had afterwards regarding the matter. I felt the impatience of my friend's look, however he delayed relaying to me the details of his incredible achievement. He began by telling me about Hans Schliemann's fountain pen. This is what he said. The key to the escape was actually Hans Schliemann's fountain pen. Oh, what a surprise. I discovered a note inside Schliemann's locker. I can quote it to you from memory. Whoever is smart enough to open this case should know that a couple of drops of my masterpiece are mixed together with the ink inside the pen's reservoir. If you are reading this note, it seems that I am in a tight spot, so understand that my special ink will temporarily destroy the will of anyone it touches. Therefore, you will have a few sec precious seconds during which you can shape the subject's will. If you recognise my genius, use this knowledge to get me out of the embarrassing situation that I am undoubtedly in. Schliemann had left this instrument for his future escape inside a case secured by a devious combination. That way, he could ensure that none of the prison staff would find it other than a well-informed friend. Understanding this, I decided to play along with him, but with a double game of my own. I would help him to escape, but I would also keep him under control by using his own creation on him. I allowed Schliemann to commence the game by giving him his pen, and then I started to advance my pawns. My first move was to persuade the director that it was necessary to search the cell. I therefore passed the ball into Schliemann's court by giving him the opportunity with Warden James. He did not waste it. He coated the bars of his cell with the poison ink, and Warden James, whose hands were contaminated, was under his control for a few seconds. He discreetly and quite simply ordered James to give him the keys. The ball was now back in my court. Now I had to find a way of neutralising Warden O'Sullivan, who was to be the biz basement guard, as we discovered when we found Mrs. Miss Patterson's duty sheet. 
I must admit that the young warden helped me enormously by asking me to sign the prison's vic- Aha, I see. Absorbed in the tale, I went over the chronology of the events in my mind. I remarked that Holmes had already signed the visitor's book before giving Schliemann his pen. He replied in an almost annoyed tone, Exactly, I anticipated it, and it was a s because of what that I managed to get a step ahead of my game with Schliemann. I was leading the race, and all the while he believed to be the other way round. Schliemann did not expect that I would already use his poison, and thought that Osadden being asleep was a godsend. He therefore was not suspicious about the letter of reference that he found inside the warden's pocket. Holmes then returned to the point at which he had broken from his tail to point out the lack of my... to me, the lack of pertinence to my remark. Um... He therefore was not suspicious about the letter of reference he... Okay. Oh, well, yeah, that's what, I, that's what I thought was going on there. See, I'm I'm ahead of this game. But isn't this poor storytelling? You could have just had it in a cutscene. That would have been at least better than having to read it. And what was all that smoke for, anyway? Where did that come from? Uh, I don't know. And why did he choke to death on the smoke? I'm very confused. We have arrived. The bishop's nephew lives here. Yes, he runs a ground floor room. Oh, very nice. It's that little old lady. She did it. She's the raincoat killer. Can I help you, gentlemen? How do you do, madam? We should like to see one of your lodgers, Henry Hampford. Well, he's away. And you must understand, I don't open my door to strangers, <laughs> especially with all these proud. Especially about. strangers as well that dressed is as you. That's for our visit. You're the police. No, Henry is a friend of ours. He expressed his concern to us about these intruders. We're here at his request. I'm not surprised. Mr. Henry, while he might seem strange at first, is a thoughtful and kind man. You must have noticed how worried I've been. Oh, it's all about just you, isn't some it? Some of my washing was stolen, and I'm sure it was those ones who took it. <laughs> it seems like the best place to start our investigation. Maybe step into your garden. Maybe step into your garden and examine your underwear. I don't see anything wrong with your looking over the garden, but his room. You understand? He didn't warn me. Oh God, are there prostitutes I in there? Understand. What should <laughs> we do next, Holmes? Let's have a look in the garden. Okay. Don't know why, but for some reason this reminds me of the video game version of um, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. You start off at the Weasley house. I don't know. Ah, oh, memories. Fuck, the controls in that game were better, though. Gah! Oh, oh, look at this. Look at this, Watson. Oh, oh, oh. Ow. Ow, focus. Focus, task at hand. Without a doubt, it is the linen belonging to Henry's landlady. Yes, I recognise that smell. Indeed, there appears <laughs> to be some linen missing. I will take these clothes pegs. I am sure they will be useful later. Hmm, footprints. A wreck. <laughs> I take it, Holmes. Because I'm a kleptomaniac, Watson. What do you think? Where the fuck did he put it? Has he shoved it up his ass? I'm really surprised. Holmes does seem pretty much everything up his own ass. Uh, oh, hello. What's this? Have a look, see. Hmm. Tins of food tied to one another. So, the wire seems long enough. Yeah, it did it looked go to me as though they are rudimentary traps tish. used to indicate the presence of intruders. Oh, what a jump! What a jump! Back in my day, we made proper traps, you know. Uh, is there anything else? Oh, no. Uh, anything, anything else? No, okay. I can't see anything else in here. Out here, are Oh. Maybe this. Closed. Damn. Maybe this. 
There should be a spade here. I like the fact that he said that as he opened it, as if I know. There should be a spade here. Pick this up, whatever it is. A small pickaxe. Yes, we're going to go postal on this lady. Follow me, Watson. Let's nick her stuff. Ah! Kapla! Ramming speed! This window overlooks the room belonging to the nephew of the Bishop of Knightsbridge. That window overlooks the room? Do you mean the window to the room? Because it overlooks the garden. Are you saying he stayed in the garden? What are you trying to say about the man Holmes? Closed. Closed. <sighs> right. I think that's everything over here. Is there something on that wall? Nope. What's this? There is something interesting here. Hmm. I need something. Pickaxe? Good, we can pass. <laughs> just chopping our way through now. Yeah, we're just allowed to break into other people's gardens. That's how it works. By busting down the fence. There remains of a small meal. Someone has stayed here rather a long time. Oh, it makes a lovely picnic area, though. This newspaper is four days old. The bishop's nephew was being watched long before his uncle's murder. How long is the time frame of this game? I'm very confused. Oh, hang on. Oh, there was another bit to that. Oh, God. I'm sorry about this. This is the continued part of the escape from Westgate Prison. But do not put the cart before the horse, Watson. Do let me continue, so by merely touching the fresh ink upon the page in the visitor's book, O'Sullivan was under my control. I suggested a state of advanced drowsiness, but ordered him not to do anything immediately. Just sufficient for him to be able to resist a siesta, be unable to resist a siesta during his guard duty. Later, after the changing of the guard, Schliemann used the key to let himself out of his cell. He hit the sleeping O'Sullivan over the head and exchanged his prison uniform for the wardens. Um... I still don't understand how Watson didn't realise that the guy speaking in an obvious German accent... Well, never mind. It's Watson, he's an idiot. Yeah, complete fucking moron. Then he created a smokescreen by using the ingredients that, had given, that I had given to him. Sugar from Miss Patterson's tea tray, brightens bicarbonate of soda, potassium nitrate from the guard room. I don't remember picking up any of these. And sulphur from a few matches. This seems like... If it had made us do this, but we didn't seem to do this. Like, we didn't find that piece of paper. So it's being selective on what it shows us. Interesting. And self for, from a few matches. He used the keys again to free the Flint brothers. The two ruffians left at each other's throats and made the very dickens of a noise. He had the, he had the diversion he needed to leave the high security area, and that is the moment where you entered the game, Watson. Thinking that you were helping O'Sullivan, you allowed Hans Schliemann to open the corridor annex bars by throwing... How fucking hell, Watson? On my side, I opened the second lock by turning the alarm on again. In light of Holmes' explanation, I began to see my actions in this episode from quite another angle. I was troubled by the way that he had used me without having my, without my idea at the time and the duplicity of my action. I interrupted his monologue to refer to the guard who had not realised what was happening and who uh, were occupied with restraining the Flint brothers. Holmes continued, exactly. So there was now only one obstacle in front of Schliemann, Warden Brighton on the reception desk at the front of the building. I interrupted him again. But it was the director who summoned him so insistently, Holmes. You won't have me believe this was an accomplice in his escape. Of course not. I provoked the doctor's rage towards the director's rage towards Brighton. Too impatient, I could not stop myself from asking how. Oh my god, you fucking idiot! Oh. Oh. God. I discovered that uh, Penny. Je Penny? Jenny Patterson and Brighton were lovers. I also knew the director did not have any idea about the affair and that he would surely fall into a foul rage if he found out. I asked him if that was also the reason why Miss Patterson had been summoned. She. Yes, she knew that I had opened the locket to find the guard duty list, and she knew that I was aware of her failed brain. She wanted to make sure that I would not say anything. I pointed out that it had been rather unfeeling on his part to have told the director everything reminding him of his promise to the young woman. He denied it in a somewhat hypocritical manner. 
I didn't say I did I did not say anything. I simply left the lover's letter inside the urgent correspondence box in the director's office, knowing that they would be delivered to him within a few minutes later, thereby provoking his act. So she delivered them to Oh my The director shouted at Brighton, who rushed off to the secretary's office. Shieldman now had nothing to stand between him and the front door. Another question leapt into my mind, not of the least and not the least important one. Why was he not simply run away once he was outside? Why did he wait? I was not disappointed by my friend's answer. It is evident, my dear Watson. If he did not run away, then it was only thanks to that aforementioned step ahead of which I told you. It gave me enough time to write the letter of recommendation for O'Sullivan with a poisoned pen. It was in the pocket of the uniform, and Schliemann could not resist reading it when he found out. 